Hello everybody! Hello, this is Paul. Welcome one and all. So last time we did everything we needed to do in all the Serenity and all the mountains and everything. Yay! Let's go. Oh, I, I was walking straight ahead. No, I'm not even giving you the satisfaction. We're not starting this way. Nope. Sorry. Going back. Buzzing. Sorry, there's a little bit of... What? Okay. All right, I'll give you this one. Let's see. Am I falling up or down? Which way do I need to go, game? Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I wasn't falling. I was getting picked up by a gigantic two-headed vulture. Of course. Of course. As, oh, and I'm just, I'm just sitting there so comfortably and like, la-dee-da, la-dee-da. Uh oh, it's cracking. All right, get the, get the, get the thing. Get the thing. Graham rescues the lovely golden locket from the clutches of the rock's nest. I just love how, how just like gingerly he's sitting there and he's like, Hi! Oh, hello little birds. Um, Gucci Gucci Goo! Oh, come save me! Hang on, I'll get you out of this! Oh, sorry, no lunch for you today, little two-redded bedded rock bird things. Um, you're a mighty eagle, can you not fly a little bit faster than that? Thank you. Cedric has not said a word to me this entire time. He refuses to converse with me at all. He'll just say warnings like, hey, I'm not going in there. It's like, oh, hey, welcome back. It looks like you survived, huh, jerk? Nope, not listening. Doesn't care that I was uh, kidnapped by a gigantic two-headed bird. Doesn't care in the least. Okay, well, if Cedric isn't going to care about me, I'm not going to care about Cedric. That's how this is going to go. Let's get this uh, little crowbar thing. Oh, and what happened to my cloak, by the way? It didn't show the birds eating it. Oh, well, that's a shame. Doesn't matter. All right, so down here is Robin Caruso's house. Oh, nah. Yeah, what the hell? Let's go. Let's say hello. What? Here are you. What are you doing on my beach? I'm King Graham of Daventry, and I'm on a journey to find the wizard Mordax Island. But I seem to be stuck. I don't know where to go from here. Hey, huh? What's that you say? I said, do you know how to get to the wizard Mordax Island? Can't understand a thing you say. Gotta speak up, boy. Now get on out of here. Well, same thing as before. We need to get the shells that will be able to hear us. Instead of actually, like, taking his advice and talking loudly, you know, directly into his ear and getting shit done. No, I have to go on a fool's errand. All right, what? Oh, he's just sitting on the beach. He usually perches on something. It's kind of weird to see him sitting on the ground. All right, well, here's our boat. Uh, wait, do we use the boat? Yeah, yeah, we do, because we got to go out to that island and with the harpies and the hoiding and the hive and... Ah, beeswax. Got it. Into the boat you go, my friend. Firmly... Graham pushes the pliable beeswax into the small hole in the old boat's bottom and hopes it will do the trick. No ding? No points for that? All right, well, that's it. Whatever. Shoving off, Cedric. You coming my way? Cedric? Come on, Cedric. Get in the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. The one thing you've said to me of the last, like, four parts, Cedric. Oh, I can control the boat. Rawr, yeah. Rawr, this thing handles like a dream. Nope. Oh, that's gotten automatic. Oh, sea monster looks different. Yo, oh, he's got tentacles this time. That was a nasty sea creature. Well, a little easier to animate, I suppose. So let's go down and right this time. There it is. Oh, you can see it in the distance now. I don't think you could do that in the last game. Could you? Look, Graham, an island. Perhaps we should explore it. Yes, I think we should, Cedric. Uh -huh. Doesn't look like there's a place to park, though. Uh, oh, I guess we found a beach. Okay, excellent. Wow, that shell is really shiny. Oh, the, oh, snatched him out of the air. Good job, Cruelina. Graham, help me! Oh. <laughs> He's like, whatever. He picked him up by the head. <laughs> Where'd you find him, Monada? We found him on the beach. Isn't he luscious? What do you think, Kulina? I don't know. He doesn't look my type. Don't be so picky. I'm tired of fish. I haven't had a man in months. All right. Well, well they argue. I, okay. W w 
How am I supposed to do anything while they're talking? Did I move by mistake? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so I think I just tried to move and they didn't like that. So I can't move at all. So I have to do this completely stationary, which is understandable. But, uh, I don't know. I guess I panicked. All right, here's the harp, you harpies. What is that thing? What's that thing? I don't know, but I want it. There you go. Well, you can have it. You go get her, Krulina. Hey, that's not fair! At least this one's fresh! I missed that guy. Alright, this must be the fish hook. Let's grab that one. While keeping a sharp eye out for the hoppies... What was that sentence? While keeping a sharp eye out for the harpies, Graham quickly bends down and rescues the fish hook from the ground. Got it. I don't know which way's the way out. I know that's death that way. Can I walk through here? That looks like a sheer cliff. I'm really worried, but I'm going to take a leap of faith. Hopefully not a leap at all. Yay. Okay, good. That was foreground. Great. <laughs> He's upside down. Cedric, what are you doing? Stop playing around. I can just walk all over him. Oh, this feels great. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Graham, <laughs> help me. He just, he's like, he's just turning, he's upside down. I love it. That's adorable. Okay, all right, Cedric, come with me. Let's go. Let's bring the owl carcass. Don't forget your desiccated corpse of a fowl. Got it. Graham gently carries his friend Cedric, who has been wounded by the horrible harpies. Oh, friends and friends at last. All right, come on, my little friend. Get into the boat. He looks fine. I wish he looked a little worse, because I hate Cedric. All right, let's grab the shell, and then, yeah, that's another, uh, that's another entire area down for the count. Out and out. Got it. Believe the colored shell. Uh, God, the colors, the colors, the colors. I know you have a limited palette on the NES, but brown would have been so much nicer. Like, there's brown right here. Use this brown for the for the stone cliffs instead of this weird, dripping flesh color. Ugh, makes me want to gag. Hate it. And away we go. And I believe if you forget something on this island, you can... No, wait. Oh, I remember. Yeah, you can go back. But then the harpies come back too. So once you leave, that's it. If you forgot any of those two items, you're screwed. Uh, let's see. Is, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Cedric. I got lost. Oh, you getting seasick, buddy? Blah, blah. Oh, oh. All right. Mr. Caruso, can you help me out now, please? Quit bothering me. All right. Everything's fine, sir. Just relax. We're going to stick this shell in your ear, okay? So don't, uh, don't get too suspicious. Hey, what's this? It might help you hear what I'm saying. What? No, what were you... <laughs> that sprite. No, what were you wanting? My owl friend is hurt. He was wounded by the harpies. What harpies? Wounded by the harpies, did you say? Well, bring him on into the house. Now fix him right up. Good as new. Oh, yes, let's please, let's watch Graham pick up the owl and carry him into the house. One frame at a time, would you please? Would you be so kind? This is the kind of texture that some games would leave out. And those games are sometimes called good games. These poultices should fix up the little feller good as new. Oh, I'm feeling better already. Tell me, what was in those poultices? My employer would be very interested in them. Hey, what's that? I said... What was in those poultices? My employer would be very interested in them. You don't have to yell, you fucking owl. Get from the sea, lab. Get from the sea. Ain't nothing special. You just gotta know how to use them. I don't think you'd find them particularly interesting. Now, son, what was it you was trying to tell me before? I was trying to find out where the wizard Mordax Island is. He kidnapped my family and is holding them hostage there. I must get to them before it's too late. Oh, I'm right sorry to hear about that. He's a nasty one, that Mordak. Wouldn't want to tangle with him. 
I tried to talk you out of it, except I see you can't be can't leaving your poor defenseless family unaided. I can help you there, son. I can enlist someone who can lead you straight to his island. Follow me outside. And then it's time for murder, she wrote. Uh, stop doing that. Stop quoting your own material. You shill. <laughs> Pearl! Oh, Pearl! We are the Crystal Gems. We're here to save the day. And if you think we mermaid, Pearl, this man needs your help. He needs you to lead him to Mordak's island. It's a real emergency. Mordak's holding his family hostage. Pearl can't speak human, but she's agreed to help you. I can just tell by the way she's wiggling her nose. Just get on your boat and follow her. I want to thank you for all your help, Mr. Uh... Don't worry about who I am. Just get over to that there island and take care of your family. Aye, aye, sir. I like how he's not holding his shell up at this point, so I think he could actually hear me the entire time. The jerk. All right, Cedric, let's go, buddy. Urgh! That is the best swimming animation I have ever seen. Oh, yeah, let's see it again, please. Two screens of this. How far? Can we just keep this going forever? A few hours of bobbing around later. Oh no! Watch out for the rocks, Graham! Brace yourself, Cedric! <laughs> We're about to explode! <laughs> Here we are. Here's the island, and there's the fish. I wonder, even after all of that, if Cedric is still willing to speak to me. Nope, he has nothing to say. Does not care one iota, but I care about this fish. What was that sound? Does there like a random thumping? All right, well, whatever. All right, Mordax Island it is. Up we go. Can I still fall off this narrow precipice? Oh, no, they fixed it. I'm almost disappointed. Well, all right, this looks different. Oh, I don't like this place. It's creepy. Well, this looks like... Oh, okay. They don't like me. They don't like me at all. Doesn't matter. Zap me, friends. Zap me. Take me to your lord. Oh, that's grim. The eyes have it. Oh, they kept that one in. I figured that'd be one of the... Well, I guess if they're going to leave the bear mauling Graham and taking him back to his cave to bury him for later, I guess we can have the charred remains of Graham slumping lifeless to the ground. All right, well, let's fix this problem. Crystal away. Crystal solve everything, just like in Final Fantasy games. That does not look like a crystal at all. I don't know what that's supposed to look like. We are the crystal shards. We're here to reflect lasers. Yo, wow. They look like kiss statues now. That's Ace Freely, and that's Ace Freely. Well, it looks like there's n n n no way in. Let's turn back. Come on, Cedric, you jerk. Now, the one thing that really unsettles me about this is all the bricks in the in the castle looks like they have like little faces on them, like little nonplussed uh, faces. And that is really creeping me out. There was this one, uh, I think it was called The Last Unicorn or something. It was like, come on, Graham, this place gives me the shivers. Stop plugging other Sierra games. I never played shivers, by the way. I should do that. But it was called The Last Unicorn or something. And uh, this wizard dude turned all the townspeople into these yellow block things. And made them uh, form his castle. So his castle was made out of living beings. And just, oh, I can't even describe the willies that gives me. Like, there's a living consciousness inside this, this golem. And, it's, and you're moving against your control, but you can't do anything about it. And there you are, you're living as a castle brick for the rest of your life. And oh, oh God, I could never bring myself to watch it again. I don't know why I told you that story. Well, maybe it's because there's faces and bricks and it's completely, uh, completely relevant to what I'm saying. Oh, God, The Last Unicorn. I think that's what it's called. Go watch it. Oh, it's awful. It's probably great now, but I just think as a kid I took it the wrong way. Let's go back now. No, I'll figure this out. All right, you puffed up old rough grouse, you. Somewhere around all these mushrooms we'll find our way in. Where could it possibly be? Where do I go? How do I get into? Oh, maybe this gigantic sewer grate is the answer. Hmm? 
Not sure why I'm talking like that. My apologies to all King Graham impersonators everywhere. Oh, it's a nice paint job underneath. I don't think I can use the iron bar again, but down we go. Down we go. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I actually have to use my hand on the abyss. You're crazy to go down there into that dark hole. You don't know what's down there. Well, do you have any better ideas? Oh, no. Why if I wait for you here? <laughs> no, that's a good idea. You be the lookout. Yes, I'll be the lookout. Yes, yes. Be careful, Graham. Most useless sidekick ever. Oh, oh, you get though. No, this one gives you a compass. Actually, I think the last game did good too, but I didn't know how to use it. All right, so we need to find uh, what was his name? Uh, not Dreep. Dreep is Torrent's passage. Uh, Gleep was his name. D oh, Dink. Dink was his name. We gotta find Dink, and I think that's all we have to find out here, and then just the exit. So this might take a while, folks. Well, I've been wandering around here for about a minute now, and I've been able to come back to exactly the place I was about six times now. Ugh. It's weird because it shifts perspectives. Because, look, so you're moving north now. So it still says you're moving north, and I come back down. See, and now it's the, the grate's gone, but it is the same room. It's the same room. No, it's not. I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused. I'll muddle my way through here somehow. Okay, so I've discovered a little something here. So, the original dungeon for King's Quest is about this big. Look, here's the map for the original one, right here. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 8. And the beast is in 1, 2, 3, 4 locations that you need. Not that bad, right? Okay, Nintendo says, fuck ya! Yeah, here's the Nintendo map, and with a bunch of forced perspective, good luck getting out of this one, you jackass! Nintendo, why have you done this to me? This is going to take like an hour, so I'll, I'll see you when we find Dink, if we find Dink. Pretty much follow the only path you're on. Jesus Christ, okay. Oh God, I found him. I was not ready for that game. Oh. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. What are you? You don't look like anything. You just look like a mess. Dink, what happened to you? All right. Oh, God, I still got to find the door, too. Hey, Dink, how you doing? A huge beast, sporting a funny-looking topknot bound in a crude hairpin, skulks in one dark corner of the labyrinth. Yeah, one dark corner. It used to be in all dark corners, Dink. I'm in no mood to mess around with him, so let's go ahead and give him the tambourine that he so dearly wants. There you go, buddy. Jing a jing a jing. Yay, 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 yay. And there he goes. <laughs> what is what an eccentric performance. Alright, well, let's find our way to the door. I kinda got the hang of it a little bit. If you kind of remove Graham and just look at it like you're moving in a first person perspective, like through a dungeon, kinda like Ultima Underworld in a way, it makes a lot more sense. But I'm not going to show you that. We're going to get back to the door and forget this ever happened, I think. All right. If this map I have is to be believed, we're almost there. We're on the uh, what easternmost point of the map. So we turn right. There'll be crossroads. Yes. We go south. And then the door should be right around the corner. Yes. Good. Floating in midair, just as doors do in magical castles, I'm sure. Good. Okay, let's open this up. We still got to traverse this one last time, but at this time, next time, we'll have at least a, uh, a um, a, what, a, a guide. A guide, that's the word. Small metal hairpin. Into the door you go, because that's what all hairpins do in every adventure game. Graham inserts the hairpin into the door's large keyhole and discovers, to his amazement, that it fits perfectly. Turning it ever so gently, he soon hears a soft click, and the door is unlocked. Wow, I'm getting a very Commodore 64 Alice in Wonderland vibe from this room. So where is the uh, cupboard with the dried peas? I don't see it. Maybe maybe this bag over here is the dried peas. It's in sort of the same position-ish. Yeah, a bag of dried peas is in the corner of the shelves. Catches Graham's interest. All right, and we will retrieve the peas. Graham adds the bag of dried peas to his other items. All right, and this next room apparently has only a chair and what appears to be a wall mount, like a wall sconce, perhaps? Anyway, all right, so let's see if they play 
Kasima's music in the next room. I'm very, I'm, I'm quite interested. Nope. None of that. And there's no chair. Wait, 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 wait. So there's the chair and the hearth and the wall sconce right next to it, right? So there's the chair. There looks like pots of pans on the hearth, but you should be able to see her too. Nintendo. Lazy, lazy. Hi there. Eek. Don't come near me. Leave me alone. What's wrong with your eyes? I would never hurt you. I'd like to help you. I don't believe you. You're probably one of them. I'm not. Believe me. Just go away. Please. I don't want to talk to you anymore. And I cannot interact with her any way, any way, shape, or form after that. I could probably talk to her, but she just say, leave me alone. So let's just go ahead and skip over and give her the, uh, what, the locket, I think it was? Yes. The locket, and she'll be instantly on our side. Here you go. Look at the shiny thing. Look at me dangle your keys. Jingy, 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 jingy. Wherever did you find my gold locket? I thought it was gone for good. I lost it on the island just after I was brought here by Mordak. You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. Now tell me, who are you and how did you come to be here? My name is Princess Cassima from the land of the Green Isles. My father, the king, employs a horrible vizier who befriended Morzak. Morzak? Mordak. My apologies. When Mordak saw me, he immediately wished to marry me and bring me here. I'm not sure if this is a direct translation for the story. Maybe King's Quest VI came out at this point, so they make direct mention to the vizier. I'll have to look up that. I'm curious. Naturally, I refused, and my father agreed with me, but our refusal angered him so much that he brought me here anyway and put me to work as a scullery girl. He says he will never let me go, that a scullery girl I will remain until I agree to marry him. But the thought revolts me. What am I to do? Don't worry. I'm here to save my family from the wizard. He's got them here imprisoned inside a glass bottle. I won't forget you if I manage to rescue them. I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's upstairs in Mordak's laboratory. Keep quiet about my presence here. I think this will be the most difficult part of my journey. I may not... survive it. I would never give you away, and I will help you in any way I can, kind sir. And I'm going back to work, scrubbing that one spot of floor for all of eternity. Okay, I think that should do for one part, and I think maybe we should be able to wrap up the entire next, uh, actually, the finale of the game in one part coming up next. So, let's go deal with Mordak, the bottle, the cat, Mananin, all that good stuff. Oh, we still gotta get thrown into the jail one more time. Lame. Everything's awful. Until then, I remain awfully yours. Good night, Jelly Bean. Good night. Ah, Life-giving life water. water. Nectar of the gods! Ah! Uh oh That, that was three was feet! Deep. What? Are his bones made out of, like, wafers? Down there's the crystal cave. There you go. <laughs> eat Wandy Death, Yeti! Or eat my face. What an abominable situation, Graham.